Okay, hold on a second. Let's make sure we're rolling here. So, uh, what is your name, sir? James P. McCampbell. James, you know, I have a piece of your work at my gallery. Did you know that? Oh, the one at the shopping town? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, hey, uh, I'm okay. still hanging at it for you. Okay. But I see your stuff here is awesome. I oh. Lo love this piece right here. What is... What is... This is kind of part of the theme for tonight. Um, the um, Walpurgis theme sort of uh well Purgus Knox. Yeah Purgus Which yeah. is nice. Which is nice. Oh. So I wanted to come up with something appropriately, you know, supernatural, foreboding. Uh, I had actually recently saw the movie The Witch and it had a lot of amazing imagery in there that that sort of sourced old uh, drawings of I, I of, really like that piece uh, and uh, what me what's the medium? It's 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 a little bit of everything. Like you see this, this is a photo sample I found, but I heavily manipulated it. Put it right there. I flipped it around at the top there. Um, this was with markers. I used blenders. I used ballpoint pens. I used white ink pens here. Um, the little splatters here, that's in the ink. I used a toothbrush to splatter that. The skull that was drawn individually, the horns, the wings were drawn individually. The well, Actually, both of those wings are made from one drawing of the wing. I just flipped it and scaled it down a little bit and then um, d put it in a different direction. I've done some digital painting in here. I've layered watercolors that I've made and also other photo... Uh, 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 imagery I found online of like abstract type gotcha. stuff, but I'm all I'm very careful in how I use it. It's like I distort it, I change the colors, I transform it so completely that you cannot recognize it almost from the original source material. And then I dice it up and I delete part of it and I erase part of it and I layer it where appropriate. I also took a photograph of my friend. He modeled for me a little bit. I used the digital SLR, printed it out on a laser printer, and then that allowed me to go back in with ink pens and really kind of did more of a cross-hatching approach and really distorted his face a little bit, make him more kind of demonic, I guess, or monstrous in his countenance. That's great. Now, where can somebody see your art? Well, um, right now I have a couple of pieces up at the vault. Um, that's 451 South Warren Street. I also have a piece uh, that's in the uh, Trumpomania, uh, an art exhibit show that was at the Westcott, and then it went to New York City. My image, I took a little bit of inspiration in a conversation I had with someone when I was talking about how David, how uh, Donald Trump received uh, political endorsement, essentially, from David Duke, a former Louisiana Republican uh, uh, state congressman who ran for governor in the 90s. But before that, he was a Klan leader and also so a neo-Nazi, but he hung up the hood and the sheets for a business suit and kind of changed his terminology a bit. What was your piece in Trump Mania? What did that look like, right? Well, uh, actually, ah, oh, here it is. So, okay, idea okay. from a friend of mine who was actually acquainted at, the, at this uh, gallery venue where had a few art pieces. We talked about, yeah, I'm thinking of doing a drawing of Donald Trump and have him like Klansman behind him. He's speaking at a podium, and then this guy outside the bar, outside of the vault, he said, uh, yeah, you should have like burning crosses. And then he says, you're fired. Changed, but it kind of stuck with me that visual imagery of Donald Trump with these burning crosses behind him, and it kind of fed into sort of what he's doing from a uh, demagogic, you know, approach of politics of like, you know, sort of burning things up, causing a lot of divisive type of, of, of an atmosphere. What is this piece right here? It's kind of a steampunk type of a deal, um, which is kind of a, I guess you could call steampunk a retro futuristic style of artwork. Um, so it's these airships flying over a mountain, and it was kind of an exercise between me and a group of friends, and we were doing artwork, and we had a little, we had these little prompts sometimes each week, and so that one was to draw a landscape and something happening in it, and so I, I was playing around with the colors quite a bit. That's is William S. Oh, is it? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, and that's got a misspelling in there. <laughs> oh well, okay. well that's the, that's. That's okay. Uh, artistic license. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, I like the David Bowie piece especially. They're very nice. Yeah, I do. Oh, zombie or Nosferatu? This I'm is not Nosferatu. Uh, Count Orlock from uh, the uh, 
old 1920s uh, silent it's film. It's an Osferatu film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. a great film, actually. Yeah, but I created the more monstrous, more monstrous uh, interpretation of it. Here, so... Yeah, uh, a little paper thing. I'm so let's see. It says painting, drawing, photography, and it's James McCampbell. Yeah. And, um... Thanks for letting us interview you. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Hopefully we'll have it on the web. You can yeah, yeah. Get